All right, guys, welcome back to my channel. This is Ali Plays, and today we're going to be discussing uh, the new updates that are going to be coming out in November. So they are in the middle of developing them. There's going to be a lot of new stuff that you want to share. So the developers of Dragon Champions have been doing a very, very, very good job of uh, updating the game. So everything that we actually have complaints about or that we would like implement into the game, they actually work on it as soon as they can, and then they get everything out in a timely manner. So yeah, they have been doing a very good job. They've been taking a lot of uh, feedback from us, uh, the game changers for the game. So we're going to discuss, uh, before we do that, if you guys want to play Dragon Champions or if you guys just want to check it out to help out the channel, use the link in the description. I greatly appreciate that. It helps me out directly. And yeah, let's get into it. So the November update, we're going to have better memory management so the game will be much more stable on older devices such as iPhone 6, iPad Air, etc. So that is very good news. Uh, for people that have older devices so they actually care about they actually care about you guys uh new orc hero diesel rog <laughs> so we don't really know much about this guy diesel rog so far like none of us they don't want to give us any information it's also the new legendary hero um it's probably going to be one of the champions that are in the game all i know is it's probably not going to be more doom yet because i think everybody already guessed that we need humans to unlock more doom that's what my guess is uh, new offers with skill scrolls, so this is very important. <laughs> we've, been asking this, we've been asking for this ever since the Solius event came out. We're like, oh, we need new ability scrolls because we can't unlock Solius without upgrading our orcs' abilities. So we kept saying that you guys got to get that in, get that in, but apparently it's not as easy. Apparently it's not as easy as you think it is because they have to wait for Apple. They actually have to have that incorporated into the app in order to do it, so that those, those type of offers. So we got to wait for Apple to... Uh, we gotta wait for Apple to confirm so that they can release it on the App Store. So Apple is usually the one slowing everything down. Uh, favorite mark for locked heroes for more comfortable farm. I actually very much like that. This actually was my suggestion. Uh, runes filter fix. It won't be cleared when any rune on Amulet clicked. I don't know what that means, honestly. Uh, maybe it was just a bug. Uh, tournaments for three to four star runes. That is pretty good. Right now, I'm not really liking the tournaments because they're so... Uh, limited, but well, that's my issue because my champions are not that powerful and because they make us use uh, Champions that not a lot of people have Ability to change reward slash energy time two times a year. Wow. I Think Star Wars Galaxy Heroes took like about like three years before they even got this into the game So you're able to change your payout time uh, or your energy time to whatever uh, Better suits you so you don't have to make your life revolve around the game So the game can change towards your needs so that you can do that twice a year Battle won't be paused when chat opened. That is good news. One tournament at a time. So this is either good news or bad news, uh, depending on how competitive you are in tournaments. So if, you want, if you're trying to focus on one tournament and then there's multiple ones that are popping up, it might be harder for you. But for me, I just qualify and that's it. So having multiple tournaments for me is okay. But I know some other people will complain about, the, about that. Non-active players won't be put in random guild anymore. They'll be without a guild after kick, but join random guild when they will enter the game again. Okay. Oh, you'll be able to buy full items from the shop from find screen. Currently, you can find them only if you go to shop screen. Uh, confirmation window for guild change. Okay. Ads will be disabled for players who made few purchases. It will be 120 energy three times a day. I don't know what that means. Don't people want the ads? I don't know. Personally, I do because I want to get that extra energy. Option to prevent guild invites if you're not interested in them. Better dirty words filter in chat. So they're going to filter uh, the bad words in chat. Report button in the chat. That's good. Timestamp in the chat. That's good. Last open chat channel will be saved when you enter the game once again. And of course, a lot of bugs will be fixed and the stability improved. So that is good news. So yeah, these guys have been listening. Uh, they're doing a very good job. If you guys can, try to join the Discord channel if you guys are using Discord. Uh, they make a lot of polls like these where they incorporate them into the game late after. So I actually have been um, voting as well as you can see. So they put things like make tickets with generation time higher in tournaments, one hour per ticket. They've actually incorporated that. A lot of people voted yes. 41 voted no. Uh, make only one tournament live at the same time. Yeah, a lot of people voted for that. I actually voted for that? Oh, wow. Maybe I didn't read it properly. Uh, remove mirror match of qualifications. They did that already. And then the newest one is that was yesterday is add unequipped old runes button. That's number 76. So they've been doing a good job listening. 
So thumbs up to those guys. And that's going to be it for the video. So it's pretty quick. We're just going over what is the coming in November. I will do a more in-depth video when I get more information on Dizarog or who the new legendary hero is. So anyways, if you guys found this video helpful or entertaining in any way, make sure you guys drop a like. I don't know how you would find it entertaining, just helpful. <laughs> and if you guys are new to the channel and you like to see, then consider subscribing. I make Dragon Champions and Raid Shadow Legends content almost every single day. And as always, I want to thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys in the next video.